Now we're going to look at what is required for merit. So, so far we've used this information to get up to achieved and we've got to look at this now for merit. It is predicted that rider boards will become more popular and increase in value to make a profit of $48 and that performer boards will decrease in value to make a profit of $48 also. Investigate how these changes will affect the maximum profit. So what we need to do with this is we need to create a new objective function. It's going to be quite similar to the one we had done before, but now our profits for both rider and performer are $48. So we've done all of our chief stuff. This is what we need for merit, a new objective function. Very similar, but now our profit equals 48 for the riders plus 48 for the performers. We're going to now fill in a table again, very similar to before. Our coordinates are exactly the same as previously. Don't change those. Keep your same coordinates. But what is different is our new objective function here for our working out. So again, substituting in like we did for achieved, we've got to substitute in our x value of our coordinate and our y value of our coordinate into that equation. Do those on your calculator. You'll get your new profits over here. Hopefully you'll see that two of them have the same maximum profit. So there should be a maximum profit and that will appear twice from two points. This is good. This is okay. This is what we're expecting to find. So what we need to do now is write about both of those two points that have that same maximum profit. So with the changed profits or um, whatever new thing has happened in your situation, but here with the changed profits, the company should make either 80 rider boards and 120 performer boards or 140 rider boards and 60 performer boards to get that same maximum profit of $9,600. If you can do up to there, then you have got merit.